Hey guys, here we are again. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and quickly uh, get right into this and talk about uh, the interface builder. So we left off last time talking about the actual different views in here, the groups and files. We had our detailed view and our editor. Now if we come up and go to resources and hello Fredricate, again, this is going to be whatever your project name is. So if my project was Bob, Billy, Jack, Susie, Harry, whatever, it doesn't matter. That's what's going to come first. You're going to see viewcontroller.xib. That's the important part. Let's give that a double click. That is going to launch Interface Builder as you see coming up down here. Now it's going to give us three screens. Interface Builder is its own program that's uh, coupled with Xcode. And you're going to see the library, the view, and then the nib, which is the view controller essentially. What we need to talk about first here is we need to talk about the files owner. So this files owner thing is kind of a weird concept. Uh, you know, it's always going to be the first icon that you see here, and it launches the nib file from disk. Now, if that sounds a little weird, it kind of is at first, but you'll get used to it. Um, you know, it's actually responsible for launching this entire window and everything in it. So just take it as that, and we'll with some examples later on so the next thing of course in order is the first responder now this essentially is going to just give you uh, control over what you're currently interacting with and it gives you just a really convenient way to communicate with whatever control or view that you're currently working with so for example actually we'll go ahead and pull this back up and you'll just go ahead and look at this if we were clicking in these actual input fields right here, our first respond, you know, the first responder is telling, "Hey, let's work with this. Hey, now let's work with this one." And if we had some other interactions going on over here, it's just switching and controlling what you're actually physically working with. Again, so you know, whatever you're interacting with, you know, if it's the keyboard, so now it'd be telling it, "Hey, the keyboard is the active thing," and it it it'd be simplifying this process and communication for you. So if we come over now to our next thing is the view. This is what we chose before when we were actually uh, launching our app and we're actually building out these different fields and things back here. We actually had the view going. Uh, we, we chose that as the type of application we were trying to build. So this, this view file, you know, it's just going to extend the actual user interface, the UI view class. And it's going to be what the user is currently interacting with. Um, I know it sound, kind of sounds like the last one, but it's not. It's the responder is controlling it, and this is what the you know this view is what the user can see and interact with in the application. And right now we only have one view, so uh, this little icon right here represents pretty much everything we can do currently. But later on we'll build some more advanced uh, you know examples and have all kinds of different other library you know let's see round rectangle if we want a round rectangle we'll, we'll get in and into dealing with more advanced topics and uh, here in the short future you, you will notice one thing um, the view right here is labeled view up here so actually let me just drag out another button again if I double click this and I drag out this window rounded rec button that's the same thing we've seen here rounded rectangle button and you know, if for some reason we go ahead and X that out and we're like, oh, where'd it go? How do we get the, the window back open? Boom, there it is. This is just our view that's controlling what the user interacts with and sees. So whatever that may be that they see could be a variety of different things out of the library. It could be a switch, you know, on, off, whatever. So you get the overall hang of that. Just go ahead you know, get rid of these. We're going to clean this up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop right here for this particular tutorial and in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and finish our application, this LOFredGicate application with the username and passcode field. Um, and we're going to throw a little icon with it. So let's go ahead and back out of here. We don't have just this little white 
icon that doesn't really do anything for us. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to put some final touches on it and we're going to go ahead and launch it. And that will be our first completed application that you could actually submit to the uh, Apple Store if you wanted to. If you felt some need to, you definitely could. So uh, we'll see you next time.